In the Land of the Word, a special edition series of In the Heart of the Word. Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SETJM, at the sites of the Sacred Scriptures. Saturday of the 33rd week of Ordinary Time. The Basilica of the Annunciation in Nazareth, Israel. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, we begin our two-week special edition in the land of the word, following the itinerary of the pilgrimage being led by Mother Della Galindo, in this land often referred to as the fifth gospel. We begin in Nazareth at the Basilica of the Annunciation, built over the site where sacred tradition holds that the angel Gabriel appeared to the Virgin Mary and Our Lady gave her fiat, conceiving Christ in her immaculate womb. Behold the servant of the Lord, let it be done unto me, according to your word, and the word is made flesh and dwelt among us. The Basilica was dedicated in 1964 by Pope St. Paul VI in his apostolic visit here to Nazareth and consecrated five years later in 1969. Pope St. John Paul II celebrated Mass here on March 25th of the year 2000, celebrating the great jubilee, the 2000th anniversary of the moment when the Word is made flesh through the fiat of Mary. Here in this sacred place, we ponder the greatest of all mysteries. This mystery is so significant that the Church calls us to commemorate it with three sacred actions. First, we pray the Angelus at noon, taking three or four minutes daily to enter into the moment that changed everything for all of us and asking for Our Lady's intercession for the whole world. Second, Every Sunday on solemnities and holy days, when we pray the Nicene Creed, we bow with the words, by the power of the Holy Spirit was born of the Virgin Mary and became man, commemorating the moment of the Incarnation. And third, on March 25th, the Feast of the Annunciation, and December 25th, Christmas Day, we genuflect at these same words when we pray the Creed. Today, my brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to ponder what God has done through Our Lady and ask that through her intercession and by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Word may be made flesh anew in each one of us. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. May we learn from Our Lady to always say fiat and to cooperate with the realization of the designs of love that God has for humanity. Those designs that began here with the fiat of Our Lady. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.